Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 4. What are we going to be doing in this episode? Well, who would have thought we're actually going to be doing social links? Your favorite, my favorite. Unfortunately, they aren't the most interesting social links, so, you know, it happens. But actually, today we're going to be doing something somewhat interesting, and uh, besides making a model robot here, we're making the second robot, and we're getting our diligence up. But basically what I wanted to say was that um, we're actually going to act find, uh, we're actually going to hit a S-link that splits, depending on what you say. And uh, we'll be getting to that probably near the end of the episode. So um, I wasn't really sure how to handle this one because uh, I'm not really too fond of this social link, but we'll see. Senpai. Kanji, am I free today? No, I'm not. Because we are going to go hang out with our good friend, Naoki Konishi. And there he is! Sorry my commentary is, like, not so good. I'm pretty tired today, so... No, Naoki. Unless you give me free booze, I don't care. Fuck off. Man, I wish I had a friend who worked at a booze shop. That'd be awesome. Alright, so we're on the 6th, so let's go into town. <sighs> Excuse me. Man, this is like the most unenthusiastic episode ever. So I played the demo for Nino uh Nino Kunai, I believe it's or Kuni, however you say it. Like in Japanese. Um and it was it was okay. It was mostly battling and they did not explain the mechanics very well, but I managed to get through it anyway. Wait, I'm supposed to be doing something today, aren't I? I think I'm supposed I am supposed to be doing something. Damn it, we just got out of here. We need to go back to the rooftop and talk to that girl. You know, for the uh, the Fox's quest. Man, I'm glad I remember that. But basically, I played the demo for Nino Cuny, and uh, I thought it was I thought it was okay. Oh Jesus! Did I just do that? I just did that. I'm so sorry, guys. My brain is like just not there today. It's gonna be it's gonna be one of those days. You know? Not mean. Not mean. All right, to the roof. I don't even remember what I'm supposed to say to this chick. Hey girl, what's going on? Your lessons didn't work. I just tried starting up a cheerful conversation with the girl in my class. But, but I got nervous all of a sudden. I said something I wasn't even thinking. Move aside, ugly, I'm coming through. Wow. What should I do? I just started crying. Uh, <laughs> you need to transfer out. <laughs> okay, man, that cheered me up. That's really actually really funny uh, let me let me look this up real quick actually um apologize to her is what I am supposed to say that's probably the obvious thing to say here but just wanted to make sure your current courage allows you to give a passionate speech about courage you instructed her about the social importance of having the courage to apologize for your mistakes Wow, he's really going at it. Yeah, you're right. I'll apologize to her. Hurting others without apologizing is selfish and cowardly. I'll go apologize. Maybe after I do, I can try and have a real conversation with her. I can't keep using my bad conversation skills as an excuse. I'll do my best. The awkward girl appears to have broken through the fear that was stunting her social growth. You accomplished the request written on the Emma. Make sure report back to the Fox. Well, that one was a lot easier than some of the previous ones. Much, much easier, like a damn kid with the stickers and um, making the model four nights in a row. I mean, I realize it's not like a lot of work, but it was time consuming. All right, so now let's go find Naoki and go slap him around. Naoki. 
Alki, give me some sake. <laughs> sake to me. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, hi. I'm just gonna delete my channel now. Naoki seems to have some free time since you have Yomotsu Ikusu. Kusa. Fuck, yes. I don't know. You guys ever have just one of those days where it just doesn't seem like anything is going really well? You remember how I talked about quitting school? I told my parents my plan. They were really against it. They told me, that's not what we want. Live the way you want to. Then they asked, you hate school, don't you? You're just running away from it. They got all suspicious of me suddenly. I wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, oh man, I lost my, my place over here. Um, basically, what you need to say here is anything doesn't matter. Don't worry them too much. <sighs> but I was thinking about helping out with the shop in the first place so they wouldn't worry. Naoki is smiling wryly. If I wanted to run, I could do that forever, since everybody's been so kind to me. Not just the health association, the class chores, club activities, everyone says I can just do whatever. Even teachers just allow me to take tests home. If I show up late, if I leave early, I don't get penalized. None of my actions have consequences. I can't tell if I'm right or wrong since everyone reacts the same way. Same either way, say. They're... No one gives me orders, they just tell me to take it easy. Then they tell, they take all the responsibility away from me. Eventually, it doesn't matter if I'm even there. I don't, even have, I don't have to do anything. I don't even have to exist. Am I really that pitiable? <laughs> so I'm sure you guys know. Yeah, you are. That's that's the correct answer. No, don't. Seriously, don't. Don't choose that one. Um, you're not the only one. I'm not really sure what the fuck kind of answer that is. Am I really that pitiable? You're not the only one? What the... You're not the only pitiable one? There's other people out there? I don't I don't understand this, this answer, but we'll go with it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Naoki is biting his lip. What should I do? Should I just keep going around and telling people not to treat me special like I've been doing? Should I act like sis never existed? Being stared at, being pitied, being alienated by my friends. Should I just pretend not to notice? Till everyone gets tired of it? When they do get tired of it, won't I be alone? I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. I really don't know what I'm saying right now. You can feel that Naoki is trying to open his heart to you. But unfortunately, Charlie doesn't swing that way. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not a good subject to talk about while eating. Lately, I don't even taste my food. I'll see you again. Oh man, guys. I went to this place called Chim's Thai Kitchen. Like, I've been there many times before, man. It is just the fucking best Thai food ever. <gasps> Welcome home, big Thanks, Nanako. I'm sorry to cut you short there. She went shopping, fridge is full of food. There's a delivery for us. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? The Armada Bustier combo. I hope we actually needed that. I get this feeling that she already has it. Yeah, she does. I just wasted my money. Fuck. Fuck! <sighs> Man, this is the best LP episode ever! <laughs> Alright, what we'll be doing tonight? Um, hmm, let's go upstairs and build a model. But yeah, Jim's Thai Kitchen was so good! Oh my god! I got a. Today I got something called a Pad Thai. Oh, man. It's like noodles with uh, with cabbage and uh, bean sprouts and had some chicken and oh it was like number five spicy out of like ten 
although you can get up to 100, it's really, really goddamn hot, but five was hot enough for me. I'm, I'm a pussy. But, oh, it was so tasty. I eat there like two times a week. It's it's terrible. I'm sure it's horrible for me. They have really good curry, like some of the best curry. Uh, this is in, uh, fuck, I don't care if you guys know. Columbia, Missouri is where I live. And uh, it's like a, sort of like a, a college town, uh, you know, MU, Missouri University, or University of Missouri. Um, so, like, there's lots of great places to eat. It's really a great town to live in. Uh, we'll decide later for, for Nauki, because uh, actually we're not going to hang out with them today. But yeah, man, I love curry. And they have some really good, they've got green curry, red curry. Uh, I prefer the red curry over pretty much everything else. But fuck, it is hot. Like, you cannot get it, like, you cannot get a one. You have to get, like, a five or above. That's just the way it is. Mr. Hosoi's freaking me out with his fucking hand puppet. All right, uh, all right, today's lecture is on a famous Japanese collection of poetry called the Man Yoshu. Man means 10,000 in Japanese, but the... But that doesn't mean it has 10,000 poems. In fact, it has less than half that. In ancient Japanese people used the term to point out how huge the collection was. Now, why don't we read a passage? Oh wait, I just remembered. Today is Ta Tanabata, the Japanese Star Festival. Why don't we study some poetry from the man Yoshu that relates to Tanabata? Let's see, since he's probably never seen a sky full of stars, let's pick on Charlie-chan. Charlie-chan, Chan, Char, whatever. Which poet wrote the most poems about Tanabata in the Man Yoshu? Well, I mean, you know, I don't even have to look this up. I just knew it. Obviously, it's Kaki no Moto no Hitomaru. Maro. I say that, but I'm actually looking up right now. Yeah, that's right. You gave the answer. You think is correct? Right. Kaki no Moto no Hito Moro has written 138 poems about I'm amazed how many he wrote. He was certainly a talented writer. Back then, Japanese people could relate to blah 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 blah. I don't, I don't give a fuck anymore. I mean, even if I'd read that, like, it, just useless information I would have lost, you know, within five minutes. As a matter of fact, I just, like, you know, played this part a couple of days ago and I already forgotten. Alright, so what are we doing today? I know what we're doing. We're doing bitches and hoes! So in the comments, let me know how you feel about curry, like what's your favorite curry dish you've had. You know, I'm sure we're all a bunch of fucking weeaboo Japanese loving culture freaks, so let me know! Alright, I, just you and me. This is a special conversation we're gonna have. Oh, fuck. Alright, so she won't like hanging out with me until I ask Ko if, you know, he's got somebody he likes, so. Ko, get your ass over here! He's over here, right? Yeah, he is. Yo! Hey, Charlie! Hmm? You look like you've got something you want to ask me. You tell Ko that I, Ebihara, wanted to know his type. Huh? My type? Hmm, what's all this about anyway? You're putting me on the spot here. Ko, it's not fucking hard to figure out. A girl is asking you what kind of girl, sh you know, you like. Like, connect the dots. Two and two, my friend. Uh, well, a nice girl? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I, I did your building, your, uh, your bidding. Oh. Yes, I, I did it. Let's hang out. Sure. Okay, I looks almost happy. Almost happy. So, did you ask him what kind of girl he likes? You told I about Ko's type. Nice girls. Well, haha. <laughs> ah, you're fucked, because you are not nice. Nice? He didn't say anything about being cute? Not even like a beautiful woman or anything like that? 
I looks almost panicked. But, but every guy wants to be with a pretty girl, right? It's the good looking girls who find love, isn't it? Forget this, I'm tired of beating around the bush. Just go ask him if he's got a crush on anyone. What are you waiting for? Go! You don't appear to have a choice. You decided to check downstairs. Oh, Charlie Tanoku, middleman extraordinaire. Yo! Hey, Charlie man, I gotta piss like a racehorse. You ask Ko if he has a crush on anyone in particular. Huh? You wanna know who I like? Uh, this is awkward. Well, um... You made one more... <laughs> you made one more honest effort to get him to tell you. Alright guys, can you guess who it is? It's somebody... that we know. Take a moment. Think about who it could possibly be. And we'll see if you're right. Are you guys get, you figure somebody out? You got somebody in your mind? You think you know who it is? All right, good. Let's do this. Uh, all right, but I'm only telling you this because I trust you, man. Don't tell her. In fact, don't tell anybody. Ch Chie san. Dun dun dun. It's Chie. Steak legs. Chie san, damn it. Are you happy now? While I'm mad, let me tell you, I'm goddamn jealous that you sit next to her in class, you lucky bastard. See you later. I've really gotta go. Are you guys surprised? He's got the hots for steak legs. You feel the presence of someone watching you. It seems I was eavesdropping. Oh god. Don't come any closer! Chie is in Chie Sadanaka, right? That frumpy girl? I... I got beat out by that? I'm a hundred times better looking. Aya's lost her composure. No fucking shit, game. You need to calm her down before it gets any worse. Really? Do I have to calm her down? Can't we just, like, let this resolve itself? Guys like pretty girls, don't they? I'm pretty now, and I had to work hard to become this way. But if I can't be loved, then then what's the point? Try to... Oh, damn it. Try to calm down. Come over here. I'll hear you out. Um, doesn't matter what you say here. Uh, try to calm down, sure. Sniff, sob. Well, that was dramatic. I... I used to be fat and clumsy. My family was poor and everyone at school bullied me all the time. They used to surround me and say I was gross and they used to call me names like Piggy Hara. The boy I had a crush on even told me not to look at him because I'd give him my germs. Those awful memories still haunt me in my nightmares. About the time I entered middle school, my family came with their money. Everyone got so jealous of us that we ra that we ran away and moved here. I knew this was my chance to start over. It was time to show them all. I dieted, got into shape, and read every fashion or women's magazine I could get my hands on. I studied them like they were textbooks and learned all the secrets. Everything from attracting guys to smiling better. But... <laughs> Looks like it was all for nothing. I couldn't be loved unless I became pretty, and now that I am, I still can't have it. I guess I'm doomed. I'll never be loved, will I? It's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. Yeah... Yeah, I would... Right now, I would have to agree with that... That statement. You're still young? 
he just doesn't know you. I'll yell at him later. Um, okay, so here's here's where things kind of differ. So I'm I'm just gonna this one doesn't matter what you say. Uh, we'll just say he just doesn't know you. These all lead to the same part. You're so nice to me. I should have fallen in love with you. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so this is this right here, this choice right here is where things split. So this is one of the I think it might be the only S Link that does this, is that if you choose depending on what you choose here and then the next question as well, is whether you actually end up being lovers with I or not. So, for the sake of this LP and scoring with every chick, I'm going to go ahead and try to push this into the lover's direction instead of the temporary lover's. So, if you choose I'll be your boyfriend, get this guys, if you choose I'll be your boyfriend, you will go down the temporary lover's and end up being just friends. If you choose this option, you will get a question right after this that will also lead you down the lover's chain or the friends only chain. So. We're gonna go. We're gonna say this now. This is strictly just so I can show off. I is actually like I've I've given I a ton of shit, like being horrible, you know, hanging out with her because she is kind of a bitch. However, you know, she was tormented when she was younger. Like she kind of led a pretty hard life, uh, had a poor family until recently. So like she's just coming into her own. So I do give her some some credit, like. I'm sure underneath that makeup and <laughs> and that shitty personality, I'm sure there's something wonderful underneath that. So anyway, we are going to go down the lover's route with her. Hey, why don't you and I just go out? So, once again, if you choose Sounds Good, it takes you down the temporary lover's route. If you choose Are You Sure About That? That will take you down the girlfriend route. You're a weird guy. I'm sorry. You're right, I'm sorry. I'm still a little confused. You feel your relationship with I has grown deeper. I'm going home now. Thank you. Oh man. All right. Well, let's get our welcome from Nanako here. Welcome home. Thank you, Nanako. All right. So we're gonna call it here. Uh, as usual, as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, hopefully, I will uh, have a little better commentary in the future. Uh, this is sort of a, a weird episode, kind of in a weird mood, so, um, I'll talk to you guys later.